Gatling gun. And if it actually hits its mark, oh my gosh, it is, this is devastating. Oh no! But that's a lot more devastating. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Ravenfield, where today we're going to be having a Cowboys versus Aliens matchup, where Cowboys have old-timey weapons and Aliens have, you know, alien weapons. So if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. But let's get straight into it. Alright, alright. So we're gonna be starting off as the Cowboys. We have a Winchester, a Peacemaker, and a large Gatling gun. To kinda of try and make it even. But, surprisingly enough, I think this will be more even than you guys think. Because the Cowboys have super quick marksman weapons. Bop bop, bop bop, bop bop which are like one to two shots, while the alien team more so has like energy weapons that fire in big bursts, making the weapons kind of inaccurate. So it should be pretty even. Also, as for vehicles, I just have Jeeps on and uh, the quads, because of course if the aliens had vehicles, this wouldn't be fair at all. <laughs> so it's just more so a fun concept than a, a balanced game mode. Anyway. Let's get to it. This weapon could do damage, please. Oh my gosh. Peacemaker time. Okay. Is everyone doing all right? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, this weapon is not strong. How's the Gatling gun? Alien scum or nope. Nope. Hmm. Maybe this isn't that balanced. But hey, look at that, we have three flags, so we are winning, and this thing's not bad. Like, if I actually can get a headshot... There we go. It's a one- it's a one-shot kill. So we just have to get good, and then we will win. Maybe. Or not even that. Honestly, we are just kicking butt. Having the more accurate weapons is just- it's just too much. Because these guys are hanging back, they're trying to shoot us, but they can't aim properly. So, not really working out. Just as I say the canteen properly. Of course that happens! So let's switch it up to this bad boy. The Gatling gun. Does this thing... Oh. Does it overheat? It doesn't look like it even overheats. Yo, cowboy is overpowered. Aliens, beware. Just don't bring your spaceships and we win. Okay, actually though. Maybe I should give the aliens something more because this is pretty broken. Okie dokie, so in a surprising twist, uh, yeah, had to buff the aliens, so I gave them a UFO. This should be fair, right? Right. <laughs> well, we're, we're gonna kind of see, because the weapons the cowboys have are more effective, but, yeah, UFO might be a little overpowered. Oh my gosh, and, okay, cover is OP. This might get a little weird. Little, little weird. That alien guys, you are freaking dumb though, boys. Super dumb. Oh, I gotta reload. Hey, uh, aliens, could you give me like one second here? Could you? <laughs> and yeah, the UFO, it's super powerful, but it's clearly not keeping pace with us. Just have to hope it doesn't go and see us. But I think it'll even things out. Let's try and move in now. I got, what is this thing? A Winchester 1887. Old timey, I think it's a shotgun or is it a rifle? It's a shotgun. So it'll be very good for those close encounters. <laughs> See what I did there? Close encounters, cowboys versus aliens. Yeah, I'm the best. I but yeah, seriously, like, oh my goodness. These, the alien team really does have really overpowered weapons and I'm surprised we're doing so well. I guess they're just not using them very effectively. Because I think, oh my gosh, she has a sword! Because, yeah, a lot of their weapons do one shot. They just never hit. And even with the UFO flying around, they have like an explosive super rifle as well. We're still winning! We're winning by a margin! Why do I say these things and then this happens? I jinx myself. Man, I have to say, all things considered, this is like incredibly even. They have a freaking spaceship for Pete's sake, like, come on! And the Cowboys are still winning? I guess it's just maybe the map, but if like we switch it into reverse mode, I'm not sure if it'd be any different. 
Because the accurate weapons are just too good. Oh gosh, the swords are so scary. Though. So you know what? Boop, bop. Boop. Badoo, bop. How about we switch it up a little bit? How about we switch it into, oh my gosh. We switch it into reverse mode and then play as the aliens. See if we can change things up a bit. Okie dokie, alien team now, excuse me guys. Um, no, you guys are gonna leave. I'm gonna be in control of the UFO this time. See if we can do a little bit better here, all right? Alien attack force, let's go! And pretty much, the enemy team doesn't have any weapons <laughs> to really deal with this. They have a AA gun over at the flag over there. So as long as I can use this to uh, protect the flag, should be good. This thing flies so smoothly. Aliens really know how to make good vehicles, let me tell you. <laughs> but seriously, with this thing, how how was it even before? Aliens can't use their own ships for nothing. Or maybe Kibbs is just an alien who understands the technology better. Whoa. Okay, even with the UFO though, it wasn't able to keep them from getting this base. The dang rascally cowboys. Think you're good, punks? Think you're good? Yeah, they're pretty good. At least in swarms. Again, the AI aliens aren't really using their weapons too well. So, uh, maybe we have to show them how it's done. Let's dump that. Wow, was that just the best timing ever? I think so. And let's show them how to use their weapons properly. So, this is an experimental weapon. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now, why the AI aren't using it is beyond me, because it's like infinite ammo, explosive rounds, and it's like one of the most overpowered weapons I've ever used. Now it's looking like we're a bit more even. In fact, we're winning. We got the flag over there. Perfect. Off-worlders, number one. Okay, yeah. With me at the helm using the weapons properly, this game's going quite a bit better, and we're clearly gonna win. But you know what? I realized I didn't balance this right. Because if the aliens are attacking cowboys, clearly the people of Earth should have a clear advantage, at least in numbers, right? So let's change the team balance significantly and try this again. All right, so I changed things up quite a bit now. So we're on an entirely different map. This is called Adrift. So it's kind of just in a desert. Seemed fitting. And the Cowboys now have significantly more people than the alien team. Which kind of makes sense because the Cowboys have the home world advantage, right? And the aliens just have the much better weapons. So we'll see if we can win. And really, the aliens only win if it's like an extremely one-sided victory. Because if the humans are kind of keeping up with the aliens, then eventually they're gonna win. Like with the home world advantage, the aliens just have to crush. And this is looking like a good start. 40, 34 kills, pretty solid. Got a flag, we need a couple more. We need at least the majority, if not more. So let's see, let's see, where are they at? Hello, goodbye. Okay, this is not good. The humans are swarming! <laughs> what? Maybe I didn't balance this too right, but aren't the aliens supposed to swarm the humans? Is that not how it usually works in these movies? Oh lordy lordy. Lordy lordy. Now the aliens aren't supposed to use the human tech, right? That doesn't make sense. So, I'm just not going to. Oh my god, oh my god! Yeah, I, I did not balance this correctly. The human swarms! They're everywhere! It's like this planet is covered in humans. What is wrong with this? And the aliens just straight up lost. Yeah, maybe I should rebalance this. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, it's a bit more even now. The cowboys still have significantly more people on their team. But yeah, it's not like crazy, crazy, crazy one-sided. See, we actually have a couple people with us this time. Oh my goodness. That was so cool. Now we're actually capturing some bases. Oh, goodness. Now we're crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. Oh my god. Okay, this is quite, this is quite devastating. 
I didn't even increase it by that much. Maybe I just got to the flags a little bit faster here. Yeah. This is still a little spooky. Still a little spooky. Switch up to the sniper. Nope, 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 nope. It's too slow. It's too slow. Any alien health bags? Nope. Pistol time. It's not enough! Too many humans. But yeah, no need for a marksman weapon. I think I'll just use a normal assault rifle. We'll go back to this base over here. Yeah, but changing the balance just a little bit here. It's clearly aliens are winning again. Back at it again. Oof. But seriously, the beginning of the game really determined this quite a bit. Like getting that flag quick clearly has helped out a lot. Now we can push up a bit, can't push up too much. They're still quite spooky and annoying. Well, let's see here. It's not really about if the vic we get the victory screen. I think we have to push them back to one base and then the aliens truly do win. So technical victory there, but the true alien victory is when the humans are backed up into a corner where they have no hope. In order to do that though, we have to spawn camp like it ain't nobody's business. Ain't nobody's business. So can we actually do that well enough? Or will the humans- Oh my teammate, can you not? Or will the humans hold their own? Maybe we just have to intimidate the human team a little bit with this thing. Yep, that's very intimidating, taking out half my own team. Great job there, Kibbs. You make an intimidating alien there. Okay, but no. Uh, this thing is pretty much like a rocket launcher. It's like an energy rifle, so... Good. Oh, it has six shots. Okay. Yeah, this, this can work. How did I kill a teammate? Sorry, dude. Okay, yeah. This is working pretty well. And it looks freaking cool, too. Okay. But it's not working well enough. Like, we're stemming the flow of enemies out of their spawn. But, oh my gosh, teammates, could you not? But we're not really boxing them in. Like, it's still a pretty decent fight. Or what, what's the actual word for this? A stalemate. Yeah, it's like a stalemate right now. And you know, just for giggles, let's try out the uh, cowboy team again. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Smart Mr. Gibbs versus an infinite alien threat. Luckily, I got the Gatling gun. And if it actually hits its mark... Oh my gosh, it is, this is devastating. Oh no! But that's a lot more devastating. <laughs> Oh my goodness, those experimental weapons, too good. However, my little act of valor there, yes, got the base over there. So we have a pretty good chance of winning, I think. Oh man, I'm really gonna have to clutch it out though. Because, oh my goodness, alien weapons are too strong. You have to really start mowing them down, or spawn camping them at least. Where are they at though? Oh my god, I almost died. Okay, this is really scary, man. This is really spooky. Should I just fire into that? No, that's not gonna work out. I'm thinking, like, do I just fire into a direction? Maybe, maybe we survive? Where are they? I know, oh my god! Oh my goodness. Each of those shots, uh, each of those is like a one shot. I am super spooked. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Gotta fire into this direction. Where is, like, a turret or something? Turret would be the dream. Turret? Turret? Because I know the Gatling gun turrets actually, I don't think they overheat as quick. But I'm not seeing them anywhere. So I guess we'll just move in. Shotgun time? Yep. Slow-mo? I'm a cowboy, right? Like I've been trained in the art of the slow-mo shots. So definitely cannon. Humans can slow down time, right? Right. And actually, I think because of my heroic actions, we're winning now. Like, just getting that one flag. It's really clutching things out. Use the Gatling gun again. Oh my goodness, aliens, you got nothing. Aliens, you got nothing. Oh, is that, that reload? And now we got a spawn camp going. I think we just win. So really, it seems it is Mr. Kibbs. That determines the fate of humanity. If Kibbs is against humanity, humanity is doomed. If, if Kibbs is with humanity, humanity is safe. 
So, I'm the world's greatest hero. Hashtag kids to be an Avenger. Oh my god, where did they all come from? They teleport, the aliens can teleport, they have swords. No! Oh my gosh, not the swords, not again. No, oh, but we won. Human for the win. Screw you teleporting aliens and your stupid swords. Kim's is a champ. Well, anyway, then, I think that is gonna be all for this video. So, if you guys enjoyed, again, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I hope to see you in the next one. And if you have any other cool versus ideas, let me know in the comments. Because, oh man, having team specific weapons is the bee's knees. Okay, though. Anyway, that's gonna be all. Have a great rest of your day, and bye bye.